Another really cool question I got asked uh, in my golf tour was about adoption. A uh, lady came up to me and asked me if it's okay for her to adopt because her family, they had some bad thing happen with some adoption case, things didn't work out. You know, the boy couldn't adjust to the family or there were a lot of fights between the siblings and him. So they make that into a case study and every time adoption comes up as a conversation, they, re they relegate the conversation to this bad story that happened and therefore we can never, never, ever have adoption. The thing of it is that Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was an orphan and Allah says, Alam yajidka yatiman fa'awa. Didn't he find you an orphan and gave you shelter? Giving shelter to an orphan, adopting an orphan is actually a sunnah of Allah Himself. Allah gave shelter to Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. There are some deeds in Islam that are the sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Then there are some deeds in Islam that are actually the sunnah of Allah. Like in Allah wa malaikatahu yusalluna ala nabi Ya ayuhal ladhina amanu sallu alayhi wa sallimu taslima Allah sends salawat upon the Prophet. Believers, you send salawat upon the Prophet. Allah gave shelter to you, you as an orphan. Muslims are supposed to give shelter to the orphan. Taking care of an orphan is the easy ticket to Jannah. As nobody said that it's easy. For example, in the United States, it can be a very difficult venture. Some studies even say it could cost you up to $100,000 just to try and get an orphan. It's very, very difficult to, to, to adopt a child. But you know what? People do it. I know families, Muslim families that have adopted. They've adopted from Pakistan, they've adopted from Mexico, they've adopted from China, different places. And you know what? This is an important, important part of our deen of raising children that don't have parents because this is something Allah put in the beginning of Surah An-Nisa. It's so beautiful. It's so beautiful that the Surah An-Nisa is about, it's, it's called women, right? And Allah says, وَاتَّقُوا اللَّهَ الَّذِي تَسَأَلُونَ بِهِ وَالْأَرْحَامِ have, have taqwa of Allah in whose name you ask each other and have taqwa of the wombs of the mother. Be, be in awe of Allah and also be in awe of motherhood. <laughs> be in awe of mother. Like, it's such a mind-blowing thing that he said. And what's really crazy right after that is that you have ayat in the Quran that are right after that about women and then about orphans. So what's the connection? Why? And you know, actually the first thing mentioned is orphans. Why? Because those are the two entities, women and orphans that are actually separated from the womb. In other words, a woman goes into another family. She leaves the family of her birth. She's, the, the relationship of the womb in some sense is severed. And the same thing happens to an orphan. They, go, they, they don't longer have a family. And so when Allah explains what does it mean to be in awe of the womb, He's, he's including in it people whose relationships of the womb have been severed. You have to go out of your way to take care of those people. You have to go out of your way. It's such an amazing, amazing concept in the Qur'an. And we have turned this into like a burden or something difficult. Astaghfirullah, somebody else's child in your family. You've got these cultural stigmatisms associated with it. None of this garbage that we put as burdens on ourselves are supposed to take away from the beauty of our religion. You know, Allah told the Israelites something I remind myself of like every day. You know, وَيَضَعُوا عَنْهُمْ إِسْرَهُمْ وَلَغْلَالَ الَّتِي كَانَتْ عَلَيْهِمْ the revelation came, the Qur'an's revelation came to remove the burdens that they used to have on top of them and the chains and fetters that they had put on them. Cultural standards are like chains and fetters and burdens that you're carrying and revelation came to load them off so you can have an easier life. It's, that's the concept of orphans. This is something celebrated in Islam. This is something that is an honor for a family to be able to do. You know, these children are being raised, and as they are raised, them, you taking care of them, is actually ensuring that Allah Azza wa will take care of you on Judgment Day. They will become your biggest testimony on Judgment Day. You know, may Allah Azza wa protect our children and give us the strength and the ability, the financial ability, the emotional ability, the spiritual ability to take care of orphans from the Ummah. Barakallahu li wa lakum, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa